Richard Wilson is my guest today in the Technical Corner and he represents Greenleaf here in the UK. Today we're going to be talking about bullnose milling, not just carbide, but ceramic as well. Yep, yeah, we've got a very good offering on the bullnose. As we know, the mold and dye industry, there is, there's a, a lot of bullnose done. Uh, roughing and finishing out. Uh, we have a selection of carbide on metric and imperial tools. And we also now have ceramic inserts. Okay, so for the viewers at home, why would you use carbide? Why would you use ceramic? And where's the crossover? Okay, your carbide, um, up to maybe 45 Rockwell, it's great, it's fine, not a problem. When you start getting over 45, up to 50, 60, almost 70, that's when the ceramic can come in. So are we talking about um, productivity gains? Or are we talking about process reliability? Wh wh which one? We're talking about both. Um, productivity gains, obviously, because the, the, the speeds you can run at with the, the ceramic, um, on the higher mm -hmm. higher hardness materials um, and it's also a stable process so you can use it for finishing okay and how about the surface finish what what could we because carbide obviously you get a, a superb uh, finish when you uh, when you're finishing but how does that compare to ceramics on the harder materials the ceramics you can get a very good surface finish uh, on the softer materials I would still be tempted to go the carbide route okay and I know we've got exciting here so you know, how does that compare? I know, it, it, I know it's a ceramic, but it's, it's, it's a bit different, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so how's that going to help? It's a phase tougher ceramic, so it will cope with lower speeds and okay. still give you the same performance. It's much tougher than a whisker ceramic, so you may be able to run the job overnight a lot easier um, on a slower revs. At your speeds, you don't need to run it overnight. Well, you don't need to run it overnight, <laughs> that's quite right, yeah. You know, a typical job with a, with a piece of carbide can take two, three hours for a finishing up. You put the ceramic on, you can get that down to maybe 20 minutes. Okay, so what, what are the barriers to entry? Why can't I use ceramic? So, and when when do I use carbide and not, and not do ceramic? Is it, it down to my machine tool? Is it back to machining conditions, my quality, my spindle? Yeah, like everything, the machine tools is, is a big factor in this. Um, you need the revs. You need to be running between six and 800 meters. So you can imagine that on a, on a 10 milli, mm -hmm. it, you're running very fast. Um, so that's a limitation and also the material. The harder the material, that's when you start to go down the ceramic mm -hmm. route. So the softer the material, you can stay with the carbide. Mm -hmm. And how about for on a three axis uh, mill, where the centre of the tool isn't rotating, obviously we know what happens yeah, on carbide, yeah. but what, what, what happens to uh, ceramic inserts when the centre isn't rotating essentially? Um, it, it's very similar to what happens to the carbide, you know, you really need to keep away from that as much as possible, mm -hmm. you know, through programming or the way that you, you fix your job. Okay, so just finally, I know I've already, we've already talked about it, but just finally, what is the big advantage to ceramics? If you're a mould shop, well not just a mould shop, you know, mm -hmm. this isn't exclusively for mould and you know, the dye sector, why would I use Greenleaf? You'd use Greenleaf, we do a full range from 10 millimetre up to 25 on diameters, mm -hmm. and we also have an imperial range, so you can get the imperial sizes too. Um, the inserts fit directly into the tool, whether it's a ceramic insert or a carbide insert. So your tooling costs are bringing down and I think we've got a nice crossover working from the softer materials and then you can overlap into the harder materials depending on what you're doing. Okay, and carbide grades? Carbide grades, we do a G925. Um, that's the standard grade, it works really well. Cracking surface finish, very reliable, strong grade. And just to conclude, the um the, the, the ceramic grades? The ceramic grades, we do a WG600, which is the golden one you see there, and the exciting, again, which is the tougher grade, the tougher ceramic. So you've got something for me, haven't you? If I'm a mold, if I use ball nose finishers, maybe I should be talking to Greenleaf. Definitely. Great, thanks for popping along, Richard, and thanks for watching.